Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. Now today I'm here with something new, something interesting, something that I'm really um, looking forward to see work out. Um, it's a three days process. So it is um, preserving a mackerel. I have a mackerel that I, I got the other day and um, I was wondering what I'm going to do with this mackerel. So I came up with this crazy idea. I want to make salt mackerel. So I did my research and um, I found out how to actually do it. So we are going to try it people. So come along with me. We are going to get along with the process now. As I said before, it's a three days process. Three days. So we are going to start. We are going to um, prepare it today. And um, we are going to watch it for the three days and then actually see how it proceed. And then at the end of the third day, we actually are going to cook it up. All right. So stay tuned guys this one is going to be epic all right remember it's the first i'm going to try something like this and um most likely the first uh, most of you guys will see something like this but we are going to jump towards it right now we are going to see what go on we are going to make salt mackerel so let's go people all right now peeps so see the mackerel yeah yeah man so it already clean up and things so I go ahead and um may I go cut it like um, a fillet style and then um we add the ingredients them to it get it in the pan and um, put it in the fridge to sit all right for three days all right so let's go you know peeps so See what I go on here now. I try to get two decent fillet for the mackerel. I don't have the proper knives and things to do the fillet, but I work with what I have. See if you can get two nice fillet for it now. Huh? Alright, so here we go. So when we do the cut it all the way go up and reach the head now, just get a diagonal cut like that and get the nice fillet off, you know? Because the the arm um, did something there it already cleaned up already and guts it. So yeah, so this is one of the fillet people. Nice meat, see there. Yeah, so that's one side already, right here. 
try and get the other side as well get that out of the way so you can actually see what I go on so what I do, I just come down at the tail like so and um, just cut it the right up Right below the finger, so just eat a slant cut, a diagonal cut, and just take off your fillet. Right. See the next one, of people. Yeah, looking nice. Ooh. See what left here. So, I have the right knife and thing, but this actually look good. Yeah. Chef killer, you know. <laughs> uh, put that one side, so. so I have my two fillets, you know. Show you what I'm going. Yeah, peeps, so see there. Two nice mackerel fillet. Mm-hmm. Come on. Meat look nice. that all right now people so right here so we have one little um, bowl so me go I go add the ingredients them to the bowl you know we may go use in it all right so salt so I want small mackerel so me just like to use like two tablespoon of salt yeah that look like enough a little a little over half tablespoon of sugar like you know that and just a small shake of black pepper ground black pepper yeah yeah just a small shake of that alright Yeah, peeps. Sugar, salt, black pepper. We get that mixed up here now. So mix all of that together. Mm -hmm. Look nice. Look mixed and everything. All right, now people. So me have to apply the mixture. To the two fillet right now. First, me turn them on the on the outside. So let's get some of the thing on it, the salt and the thing, sugar with the pepper. So the mixture on the outside, right? Then give it a flip. Side here as well. Mm -hmm. Remember, people are the first way I do this. I don't know how it will turn out. I don't know how it will look like. Alright, so. Alright, so that are that. Right now people so now this is my container where I go put them in so I'm just going to get the fillet them and lay them in there nice so that one that are the next one alright two nice fillet two nice mackerel fillet Yeah, peeps, so see there. Two nice mackerel fillet. 
Well, see don't get a plate there, so. Alright now people so the next step was to cover it with a bag and then um I will get something like another plate like this or something to put pressure on it alright then I will rest it in the fridge so I get the next dish right now so put over that alright now people so see my weight span and this I want my weight so I dive with and um this is the, the container I just put it in a bag so I'm gonna put this in like this like so you know if you apply some pressure to the fish so I'm gonna put this in the fridge and now and um like in about in about a hour or two I go go get a get a check but I'm supposed to see some liquid uh, um a farm in the in the container. Alright so let's get this in the fridge right now. Peeps so see it there. See it there in the fridge and now I'm gonna say in the next two hours so I come get a check to see if it start um make the liquid in it, you know. So yeah man, I'm gonna close up the fridge you now and left that for go and stay. Remember it's a three days process, people, so right now we can't wait to see where it's gonna turn out to be. Alright, so stay tuned. Alright now people so reach two hours now. I gotta check where I go on. So um based on my research, I'm gonna check it now and see the farm some liquid. In the, in the pan, that means it will work. So, let me go see what I want. Alright, see what I want and now. Take off my weights. Let's see what's going on. Power, when we see a guan, it will work because I'm um, see the liquid there. Yes, people, so it look like it will work, you know. All right, so I'm gonna cover it back, put it back in the fridge, and tomorrow check it back. So it work people, it work. See it there. Mm -hmm. It look good. Catch you tomorrow. See you time around. So check on it, alright? Alright guys, so it's day number two. So what we are gonna know, we are gonna take it out of the fridge, we are gonna check what we are going for it, and we are gonna flip the sides, alright? So we are gonna turn it on the other side, alright? So let's go right now, go into the fridge, take it out, check it, flip it and put it back and wait for day number three all right so let's go all right people see it there well nice in the fridge the same way so we're gonna take it out now and see what i go and feed all right yeah man all right very anxious to see what i go on so let's get right into it take off my weight span 
still looking good. Put that over there. So. Thing. And then I will flip it over right now. On this side, nice and flat. Alright, that not look bad. Look like it's a go on so far. people so see there you know mm -hmm. all right now so cover down back time now cover down time again Uh, but my weight span it I don't know where it go it's looking good people it's looking real good look like it'll work out uh, but my weight span and then back in the fridge it goes back in the fridge nice and easy rest this again yeah all right guys so it's day number three the final day the day we're going to do the cook up all right so guys i'm going to take it out of the fridge right now i'm going to cook some salt mackerel run down with it hopefully nice and everything so i'm going to take it out of the fridge you now we are get the ball a roll, we are get the pot for the fire and we are going to fry some breadfruit, we have a roast breadfruit so we are going to fry that to eat with the salt mackerel rundown alright? yeah guys, so stay tuned alright now peeps, so see it you know looking nice Look ready so so I have a coconut over there so along with some tomato and onion we have the rest of the ingredients in the fridge so let's get cooking all right now people so what am i gonna do i'm gonna put the mackerel for boil for 10 minutes to get out some of the excess salt out of it um while may i get the coconut blend up and thing all right so stay tuned all right now see the pot on the fire there hot and everything already so mackerel i go in there Got one piece already That's the next piece, alright? Can I see the salt? Already. I come out of it. Keep it up on the water. Yeah. Alright now people, so see my coconut the well blend up and thing. I'll juice it out you know get the milk to put on the fire all right yeah man put the coconut milk on the fire so we are going to make this boil yeah man so we are make it boil down to custard till it starts to the oil and then we add the ingredients them to it in the meantime we are going to cool off the salt mackerel and pick it up and thing if we go in the coconut milk when it boil down all right yeah man so stay tuned all right now peeps so Remember when we small and we mother said if you check on the pot where the salt fish are boil or the salt mackerel or the red or whatever I would just pick off one little piece Well guess what I go on now Pick off one little piece So I'm going to taste it now and see what I go on for it if it tastes the same Alright so We'll get to it now so I'm going to start mix salt mackerel and sell People Exactly, exactly the same. I tell you, it's nice, and this even more tender. Um, I don't know if I because I don't have it for long, however, but it's even more tender. But the salt content in it, 
tastes just the same like salt mackerel or mother by a shop. So it's nice. Run down in the day, yeah. That go bad. Peeps, see what I'm going on now. Then I'm going to put in the pot. Stellion, thyme. Have a nice catch on it right there. So, onion, so garlic, tomato, sweet pepper. Alright? Yeah, man. What's the main thing here? Yeah? Now, the run down, the scotchy, you know. Yeah, man. You know, the, this I got to turn up the flavor in it. And all who know them pepper, you know, so them pepper are the real hot pepper them you know real scotchy them yeah peep so coconut milk them on the fire go on boil down so I go and cut up them in the meantime alright yeah Cool it down you know in some cool water and pick it up right yeah now people remember so I did fillet it already so no bone in it so I'm gonna have four about the debone it and thing so I'm gonna do just pick it up to the size where for me one Yeah man, see it there now. Ready, ready for going out the pot, you know. So, don't know where it go. Don't know. The yard style blend seasoning run out, so, have some maggie. Throw the kumagi in it. I don't know, give it a nice flavor. Alright, so I'm gonna add the, the ingredients then to it right now, which is the onion, and sweet pepper, tomato, hot pepper as well. Stellion and time. Yeah, I'm mean, not nobody for hold the camera. So, just I'm going to hold the camera on my one hand and use my next hand to do everything else. Alright. Yeah, peeps, so that's it. Add the rest of stuff them to it right now. Get me fuck. And make everything go on. Make everything go on. See my dumb, you know? Yeah. Look at that. You can see the oil in it, you know, people. Look there. Yes, man. Mad thing. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That matter, but homemade salt mackerel run down. Only yard style, man. Only yard style. Yes, no peeps. So see the bubble down there. 
So what I'm going to do now is add the fish to it right now. So there we go. Wow. Man. This look wicked. Make sure we get everything in it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice there. Look at that. All right, now people so see there. Let me lock off the fire from that, you know. Yes, man. Ready, it ready, me I tell you, it well bad. Well, well bad. So, me I go fry up some breadfruit, you know. And then, I don't know it go from there, so. So, stay tuned, guys. Alright. So, my breadfruit, them I peel and cut up and everything already. But, so I go fry them here natural. Sprinkle some salt on them normally. But, I get like a little bowl or something, you put some water in it with some salt. Um, some people add sugar to it as well and soak the breadfruit in it and then you fry it. That nice too. But we just fry them here natural today, alright? So, watch your style there. Yeah. I lip on the fire. They're in the pot right now. Well, hot so breadfruit time. Breadfruit. breadfruit time. Get your breadfruit. Okay, peeps. So that I first set a breadfruit come out of the pot. The next setting they are fry right now. So don't know. Say after that, don't fry. Gonna make a nice plate and make gonna see what I go on. All right? Yeah. Alright now pizza. So we so get some breadfruit on the plate, yeah. I get some of the run down on the plate now. Salt mackerel run down with fried breadfruit. You know, you have to roast the breadfruit before you fry it. Yeah, so this is a good idea, you know, people. Look at that. Right now, I'm going to go in at this wicked. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's a time for getting out here now, you know. See it here, you know. Yeah, man. Really. Really hard style. As I said, the first made it try this and it actually tastes good. So, feel like I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Fry the food. Yeah, nice piece of fish right there, so mackerel, salt mackerel. Mm. Yes, peeps, well bad.
Yeah, peeps, definitely have to try this. If I can get a mackerel, just try the, try the recipe. I can stay for the three day. Yeah, I'll cook it up. It's a rundown style, I tell you, it's not normal. Normal. Mm. Side fish. Mm. Oh, I can't believe say. I saw it with a taste like the real mackerel. Yeah. You're bad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you never there for this. Mm. So my viewers and subscribers, hope you enjoy that one I'm going to tell you say yo, the mackerel, like it does exact. I don't know. I never expect if it turn out to, um, to be this exact but I tell you say nice. Really, really nice. Um, try the recipe, ya people. Remember, you get the mackerel. Me fillet, you know, for fillet. Because when you go to shop, go buy salt mackerel, the bone still in night. So, if you want the bone in night, it's up to you. Alright, um, you get the salt, the sugar, and the black pepper. So, if you are going to use, um, say, three teaspoon or uh, three tablespoon of salt, depending on the size of mackerel, if I want, um, you use one tablespoon of sugar and just sprinkle a little black pepper over that all right? and put it in the jar or whatever cover it up make sure it have something some weight on it to compress the meat and um good to go left it for three days check back on it the first time you do it though um in check back in a one hour or two hours to see if it start produce the liquid then you know it will work yeah and then um three days time cook that mackerel and I guarantee you say if you, if you do it properly it will taste like the real mackerel alright so guys remember to like share subscribe to the channel people um, we're growing right now thanks for all the new subscribers thanks for all the subscribers that have been there from day one um, sticking and staying watching liking sharing commenting on the videos um, Shout out to everybody right now. Whether you just start watching this channel or you've been watching this channel for a long time, alright? Stay tuned for our next epic adventure from yard style fishing, alright? Yeah, man, so peace out, people.